Hey guys, my name is Akil and welcome to YouTube channel BTEC Credit Guys, So in this video, let us explore few more things on the Acker rank test, which is on typing distance. Okay, let us see some of the modifications that I will be bringing in the code. And also there are few things that I want to discuss with you all, like the errors that you have caused and the comments that I've reached on this video. So let me open this video. So basically I have explained you the so so there are a few errors in the video like not the actual code error but it's regarding the audio the network issue which I had when I was recording the video and I couldn't able to I I expected the video but I don't know why these changes didn't reflect on the video okay so I have just apologized on this uh, comment below so I guess due to the network issue I think as missed an audio broke and I didn't register till now. So I was looking at my own video and I felt like, oh, this audio is breaking a lot of bit. So I felt like, oh, let's recreate another video for that. But you know, uh, it's not just required. So you just need the code to write. And you know, just understand the logic which I have explained. In case if you feel, in case if you feel that, you know, you need more expression, just ping me up. Okay. So I'll be explaining you again. So, and few of the things that I really don't understand about this fresh account is like, I want full screen acronym code, please provide in the file or a screenshot. So, dude, I just want to know what is this? What is this in the code? You can directly pause the video and take a screenshot of it, right? So, I was like, uh, I have written a couple of messages in my Instagram and also uh, this YouTube channel. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so, the entire code and the logic which I have explained to you is clearly on the screen. What you need to do, you just need to type as it is how I wrote. Okay. And uh, there are a few more things like, okay, is the question for same? That's good. And sorry, indentation error expected an indentation block for if statement on line number solution line. See, basically, Python is all about the indentation. So, our royalty, royalty is important in a relationship. So Python requires indentation. What is indentation? So indentation. You go. You search in the Google. Okay, indentation in in Python. So indentation refers to the spaces at the beginning of a code line, where in the other program language the indentation in code is readable only. The indentation in Python is very important. Python uses indentation to indicate a block of code. So we just want to make sure that compiler knows what is the code is all about. Okay, so this is one of the best example, I guess. Let me open it. Here you see. Indentation is Python. So name is called Sam. If name double equal to Sam, print hello Sam, else print hello dude. So print how are you. So does this sentence make any sense? Okay, does this statements make any sense? No, right? So basically what is happening is like you're giving a conditional statements. And you're not giving a certain block of it, like we are giving a certain conditions. You need to have few what we call constraints, right? So that's constraints is nothing but the print allow sum. So where are you declaring that? You are not declaring it anywhere. Okay. So now you are see after this second picture. So Sam is called Sam if name is called name and print allow Sam. So the condition which is name is equal to Sam is good thing. Okay, then we have printing print allow Sam. If that condition satisfies, then we need to print a certain thing. Okay. That's right, right. So that's all. Uh, that's the indentation. Okay. So let's few more. No test case pass. I have just executed. I think a uh, few error that they have written in the code. The code doesn't run successfully. See, basically, you know, this video got around 6k, 6, 6k views, and I got around uh, 2000 to 5 somewhat around request on my Instagram uh, that they didn't follow, but that's a secondary. But I got the inbox popped up. Okay and then you see there are few more comments getting error to send the code in the comment box this sir, this kind of uh, send the code in the comment box send me bro send me bro i'll definitely send because you have the code here so why you're worrying about you just need to take a screenshot right you can take a, you can get the you can call the screenshot sniper sniping tool snippet sniping tool okay you can directly take it a screenshot from here right directly take it but this candidates, I don't know what they want directly. They want in a text format, I guess. Uh, that's really, you know, the next leaders or the next engineers are just doing a copy paste thing, which is really bad, right? 
so i just don't want to make our followers okay our followers do not stick to this kind of thing okay i'm in coaching us coach and please see when we'll be getting results so this kind of questions are really encourageable because i do don't know when they will be getting all those things but you know, basically i can explain you what is what okay sorry about the logic is correct but don't add code that instead we see the spaces and fill up the keyboard instead of ignoring it so this uh, this guy really uh, uh what really, really made me to think a bit so basically i have shown you the image so this is the keyboard that the question has given so q w r so and so and in the third line we have space z x c v b n m and then space space and then second line we have a s d f g h j k l and then space so what i did was when i was doing this code uh, code later i neglected the space tabs okay so but this guy who reminded me to include the spaces really uh, you know i really encourage that kinds of guys okay so you know you know you know the entire layout and he asked me to include the spaces so that we can get the correct answer okay so thank you and i don't know what's your right where is this guy gone okay somewhere in the gallery galaxy okay see in contact i really appreciate you man I really encouraging okay and i think i have uh, responded positively for him i will be give it to go thanks for solution yes you see so that's how uh, this guy ravatle see what i was uh, expecting from you is like you think you think before and what are the possible ways that you can make sure you write the code okay you need to write the code to get the result perfect result i'll be sharing the code that's secondary but what is happening after it is like you are just copy pasting the code which i have written so in case if you have written that copy paste thing what will happen in future is like you don't know whether how the logic works actually okay so i explain you a bit late bit what is what but you know later in case in future, Future, if you encounter this kind of questions on a different keyboard format, you, you should be in a you should be in a position to solve that. Okay, if not is the case, if that is not the case, then you will be in a big back hole. Okay, um, that's what I want to say. So let's let's go into this video. So what is the main agenda for this video? It's like as I told that that comment really fascinated me. Later, what I did was I just added the spaces before the third line space and after two spaces and this L space. And when I executed this code, you know, we got this three one eighteen, which are the expected results of the question. And I'll be giving you this code. Don't worry, I'll be giving you this code in my GitHub. I'll be pushing it to my GitHub, and I'll be pasting that GitHub link below in the description box. Don't worry, in case if you're still uh, riding around, okay. And, and one more thing is, I want to make sure, like, uh, how you guys are really riding. Make some. Let me open this pad. We have the screenshot. Let me open my sliding tool and let me grab this pick, copy, and then paste it here. <coughs> okay, so so this is the code. Okay, let me open this default code also. So this is the get def get distance of word, and this is the if main function. And uh, really, I don't know why this few candles have written. Why they have just removed the if condition itself. So if there is no main function, how does the function calls? Where does it print the result? So we don't have any function call, right? So we can't remove. Okay, let me copy this one also. No, I can't paste in that way. Okay, let me upload. Open. Hmm. Okay, where I can upload a file. Okay, let me drag and drop. So this is a question you got. You guys got right. So this is a default code, and few people remove this function. So this is not. This is really big blunder. So we should not remove this main function. Okay, and also you should not alter this function. So these two are the starting points. So this, this is the starting points, and then in this function it will be calling this. Okay, so if you remove this function or this, there is no meaning for your entire compiler. And one more thing, in the compiler when I was showing the code, 
I clearly showed you like I am using this Python 3. But most of the candidates you have written in the code have used Python 2. Like, so there is a vast difference between Python 2 and Python 3, guys. So, in case if you want to go with the Python 2, you need to adapt to the Python 2, what you call architecture, and the way you write to code. So, in Python 2, I guess you need to not give brackets for print statements and some few statements. Like, you can give that to print off so and so, it will be giving you, giving you the result. But when it comes to the Python 3, you need to have some braces and we need to have certain conditions to write okay that's all conditions you need to you need to make sure that you put everything in place okay did i okay okay so that's the thing so okay uh, mm, mm, what if now i can reverse this right okay okay let me control z everything so basically you need to have this main function and then get diff uh, get distance of word okay right fine now what is happening is this is stuck okay Paste. so this is the code right again when you start the code you should not write this line okay and these three lines okay so these three lines are the lines which i wrote to make sure that make you to understand the code actually works or not okay these three lines are just for the test cases for my side and your side to know whether this entire code is working fine or not okay you should not write these three lines when you're writing the code okay and you should not remove you should not write this line again when you're writing the code just you need to write from line number two to line number 19 this is the only block of code that you need to write so this is the only block of code that you need to write entirely from the, for the exam okay only from keyboard to the written result so these are only lines that you need to write and few people what they're doing is like they're keeping the result here and few people they are pushing entire this block to here so this is not the actual agenda when i was telling the actual code okay so in case if you do all these blunder mistakes in python especially in python so in case if you take c and java it doesn't care about these uh, spaces okay so let me go by online compiler so this is my c program right so for example int equal to zero and then i will be printing percentage d comma int i is equal to zero percentage d comma i zero c Okay, it should be printf. Sorry. So, see, we have written the entire code in a single line, and the result we got is zero. But when you go back to this Python, duplicate, and then go to Python 3. See, if you give in this manner, so it will be uh, what it will be scrolling you like invalid syntax. So, because <coughs> Python doesn't know. So this is a basic thing. So it won't in case if you give this semicolon before that zero, it works. That's a separate thing. Okay. But basically what you need to understand is like in case if you wrote everything in a single line without giving you anything. So if you click on run, see invalid decimal literature or in case if you give space before it, it will be giving like syntax invalid syntax. So this kind of errors will be occurring when you're dealing with the Python. So Python does what it does. It is like it will be having a indentation where you need to maintain maintain each and every line in a certain portions itself so while when you consider this while loop while loop in python images so this is how the while loop should syntax should like so the first line okay let me so the first line should be towards the left and then it should have two double space double tab spaces and then should have the remaining block of code or block of logic that needs to be executed later okay in case if it doesn't do like that you know you're really making a big blunder in that okay and now i want to make you now I, what i want to tell you is like in case if you still have the test this is the code that you need that you need to write from line number two to line number 19 only this is the entire block of code that you need to write no other thing and the main thing is like language language 
language is python 3 don't select any other language apart from this okay only language required is python 3 what is this Excel and run. the language required is python 3 only python 3 i'm using so just use python 3 in case if you still have the test okay so what i told from line number 2 to line number 19 is the thing you need to write okay and one more thing is like so as of now we made these spaces and thing spaces we have uh, we have added the spaces i don't know whether this really passes all test cases or not because i'm just going with the flow with the bad that particular comment but the logic which i told in case if this code doesn't work just add a return statement okay that's fine that's really cool okay don't worry and one more thing is like so i have given you the basic template of the code but you know this is the main logic that i have i have got around 6000 6k views on this video so if 6k people 6000 people write the same snippet of code what will happen is like they will be taking who have written the code first in the less time complexity and less space complexity and then later they will be filtering it out in that manner in case if you go and write if, if for example if there are 10k people watching this video for example if there are 10k and 10k people write the same same logic which executed in the same phase and there might be a chance it's like only top people who have written the code within a fraction of seconds will be picked up first rather than you in case if you write a bit slow okay so that's what i want to really want to tell you is like this is a code what you need to do is like you need to optimize this solution to execute in a couple of so this is this entirely takes along order of n square i guess so we have two for loops and then it will be iterating over so over and over so and i want to tell you that itself so this is a code but you know you, you need to optimize the code later and that's it in this video and i'll be getting back to you later video so don't worry guys in case if i um, go harsh on you like i just wanted to make you understand how you need to write the code how you need to become a good developer itself so you have the logic you have the explanation but you are still uh, depending on uh depending on the solution itself then that's really brand mistake you need to understand you need to come up with your own solutions to write the code okay and we are i am always here to help you out okay so don't worry in case if you stuck with your own logic just text me up in my instagram okay i'll be re-explaining you how you need to write your own code okay so okay that's it and really thank you so much for this uh 2.31k subscribers on this on our channel okay i'm really thankful so much thankful to you okay and we'll be coming up with the latest new videos on this channel do stay updated with that channel and i'll be posting a lot of opportunities from today itself okay uh there are a few job opportunities for freshers from 2025 to 2026 and from 2022 to 2025 so there are different batches and different job postings so I, i'll be making a video today just go to the description box after apply for all the jobs okay do support us in this manner so i'll be coming up with a lot of interesting updates so that's it in this video guys let's catch up in another video bye bye